How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today's video is going to cover the implements that we chose when we started the farm. And as an added bonus, we've got some bloopers at the end for you. All right, stick around. In upcoming videos, I'll break down each implement one by one on how I use them on my particular purposes. Now, these implements have tons of purposes, and a lot of you guys already know that kind of stuff, but I'll break it down how I'm going to use it here on our hobby farm and our particular application. So you're going to want to subscribe so you can see the videos. You click that little notification bell, and you'll know when I post the next videos in this series. But uh, I think it's uh, beneficial for us beginner hobby farmers on how to kind of get started up and running. And uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'll look at the ones I have, why, and I'll tell you why I chose the ones I need to, uh, needed to choose. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's go take a look at them. This particular implement is called an auger. Now, it, ho it hooks up to your three-point hitch. You can see uh, the little U-shaped. You can see the PTO shaft sitting on the cinder block there, the broke piece of cinder block. I chose this one because we got to do a lot of fencing. This is actually my brother-in-law's, and he had it sitting at his house. So I, I said, hey, can I borrow that for about three years? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, sure, I know where it's at, right? And so thanks a lot to my brother-in-law for letting me, let me use this. But he, uh, you know... He was kind enough to let me borrow it and we've we've already dug a lot of holes with it and and set some posts we set the little post over our, our driveway and we've got a lot of fencing to put up so if you have a place on your farm that you have to dig a lot of holes for fencing then you're going to need to get an auger all right that's one of the implements that i chose to go with because eventually you see all that out there this eventually this will be fenced in It'll keep our horses in, it'll keep our dogs in, it'll keep all our livestock in. And so that's why we're going to go with an auger. All right, so that's one of the implements here. This implement is your bush hog. All right, you use it to, you know, mow tall grass and things like that. You can, you can cut down small saplings or whatever. Um, so it's important to have one of these around your property. Um, a lot of, some people call them brush hogs, some people call them bush hogs, you know, different names, but some things to consider when you're buying a bush hog <clears throat> is how big is your tractor and how big is the bush hog mine's six foot wide they make them in you know four five six seven eight foot wide they, and they have some called bat wings for some big you know like highway right away type applications and and so you know think about the application you're going to use it for is your property just mainly pasture land then this is something that you want to get for sure now you can cut down small saplings with these and things like that so you know depending on how how bad you want to beat it up is how, how bad you can mow over stuff i you know i i think they're pretty durable i think that they're pretty um pretty stout and if, it's definitely a, a number one uh or one of the most important implements that i've got here at the hobby farm all right so right beside it, you can see my very own everything attachments landscape rake and I'll put a link to a video of the landscape rate review that I've done here. This thing is awesome. Now, if you're going to clear trails, if you're going to cut down, if you're going to have a field that uh, it's got a lot of sticks in it or rocks or dry, you know, it's, it's, this thing's amazing. So this EA rate, this EA landscape rate, again, I bought the six foot. They come in various widths. Uh, I bought the six foot one. And so you can think about, you know, what, what, how wide do you need it to be? and you know for your particular applica application and uh, get one that's in accordance with your tractor go a size bigger that's all that's the recommendation i can give you is go a size bigger my tractor came with a bucket on the front end loader you're going to need a bucket i welded hooks on mine for extra uh, lifting you know extra capability to lift things with uh, chains or straps and my son-in-law's like, quit using chains. You guys start using straps. And then five, uh, two more I'll show you. The box blade. Again, mine's a six-foot box blade. It's a, uh, it's a LMC uh, out of Alabama. Those guys, uh, they make pretty good products there. 
I can't say, I say pretty good. They're good, all right? People go, why do you say pretty good? Well, it's, it's a good product. It's just the way I say it. It's just my dialogue, I guess you say. Anyway, uh, so this is the box blade. Again, different widths, and they have different uh, applications for them as well. You can see I've got these blades that are turned up on them. These are called ripper shanks, or they're called scarfires. You know, different people call them different things. I have a quick hitch on mine. That's the little black uh, Cat 1 quick hitch by Grizzly. That's what you see on the back of my three-point hitch there. Uh, I recommend getting one of those too. Those uh, it, It'll save you back. It'll save time or whatever. And then finally, the last implement I want to show you is the grapple. This grapple came with... This grapple came with my tractor. If, if I had to purchase an aftermarket grapple, I would buy an Everything Attachments, uh, EA Wicked Grapple, because those things are stout. And anyway, um, this one, it came with a tractor. If you're going to use, if you're going to get a grapple attachment, you need these to lift, you know, it helps you clear brush, it helps you move trees. Uh, these two big black thumbs on the top here, the, one, the left and right sides, uh, they open and close to to grab onto things with, uh, and so if, anyway, if you're going to get a grapple, you're going to need hydraulics to work. It's called a third function. Again, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. There's a lot of. I'm definitely not the smartest tool in the shed when it comes to this kind of stuff. A lot of you guys are though. A lot of man. So I, I'm in these forums and stuff, and I'm like, how do these guys get this smart? But anyway, uh, the the hydraulics run from the grapple into a hydraulic uh, your valve there and then the third function control switch is located here now this one my particular situation is not a true third function and what i mean by that you can't curl and you can't curl and lift and roll at the same time uh, so but it does it does help a lot the grapple can't go wrong with the grapple you need that all right so that's the implements that i chose to start my hobby farm Those with. Those are the implements that I chose to... Get over here, girl. <laughs> Those are the ones that I chose to start the hobby farm with here. And in future videos, I'm going to go over each one individually. And this is Sheba, our female black lab. Hey, girl. She's hyper. My male Gideon, he's not hyper. But anyway, so, you know, in future videos, I'll go over how I use each one of them around here. Again, this is for my particular applications. Your, may be, your application may be different for your situation. Uh, so if you have a, a hobby farm in your area, are you just starting your hobby farm? Then put in the comments below how you uh, chose your implements or what you're going to choose when you buy your tractor. And that'll help others out. And again, I'd, I'd love for you to comment uh, in, the se in the comment section below about that kind of stuff. And also, I'd love for you to follow us on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Hamiltonville Farm. It's all the same. And go ahead and click that subscribe button to help us grow. Our channel's doing really good, and it's all because of the great people like you, all right? So me and Sheba are going to get out of here before she knocks my camera over. All right, you guys take care. I'll see you on the next video. Like I said, those are the implements that I chose to use to start my to start my hobby farm with. So if you're looking for some implements to use, then you need to pick the ones that are appropriate for whatever application you're going to do. All right, Sheba, get down, get down. All right, hey, get down. All right, go, 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 sit. Get. All right, watch my son. Quit. Ah, no, quit. Sheba, no, 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 no.